All right, we should be good. Sorry for delays if anybody's watching. New <laughs> technology. I also have it so I can switch between the two different cameras. But uh, we'll just stick with the normal one for now. Get that up. I want to make sure my commands are working. Just a little slow, but it should work. Hmm, maybe they're not. Okay, well, that's okay, as long as you can still type them. Okay, so today we are going for the un slightly unpainted Dung Beetle Knight. Um, it needs a, I did a couple like just base base code, so I'm gonna need to do a lot more work on it, but I got something started. Um, characters. Yep. So we have. Oh, I didn't switch out for the new Screaming Antelope cards. Uh, there have been some updates with the update uh, 1.6. But um, yeah, the Screaming armor has gotten a bit of a uh, a nerf. It's now before like the head was. Sorry? Um, the head is no longer three armor, it's two. The skirt is not three, it's two. And the gloves no longer let you add acanthus to the board, but they still give you the plus two to picking things up. And the full set only gives you one bonus armor instead of two. So it's two, three armor across the board for it. Um, I'm trying to remember. Oh, let's turn that to face me. Um, oh, Monster Grace changed. Uh, it's basically the same, except it now is flammable which happens with certain attacks or certain events couldn't hurt you if you're using flammable gear. Can I get you to try typing something just to see or do a roll? Because I tried something and it wasn't updating. I'm not sure if it's just on my end. Oh, okay. That's going through. Okay. Okay. Um, and we've got your regular character back in, so you're missing the, the chest armor, but you have the lucky charm, the guitars, and the sleeping virus flower, so that's a, what, 10, 9, 8, 7 plus to crit, and you have one armor every everywhere but the body. Uh, you have Monster Grease. Yeah. And then Rawhide everywhere else except the body. Um, let's see. We have the, the green character, uh, the captain. He has the full Rawhide set, so two everywhere. He has plus one evasion, plus... 
One natural evasion plus one from the armor. Um, he's got the cat eye circlet, the bow, the claw head arrow, and a founding stone. And the full rawhide set, which gives him yeah, the bonus to evasion. And everybody gets one bonus strength token because of blue. And I think they get two extra strength tokens. One survival plus one strength token. Yeah. Um, they have the bone blade and blood paint connected to fist and tooth. Oh, one thing I did want to bring up is we just had the white speaker come in like one or two sessions ago. Well, the new update came with some of the, uh, the bonus gear. And when the white speaker is visiting, uh, they offer a trade for her wares. Uh, the rare gear below may be gained by paying its cost. Each item can only be gained once per campaign. There's a blood skin and the speaker cult knife. So had we had this available, we probably, or we might have bought it. So we'll see. Um... We'll just retroactively give ourselves the, the option to buy it if we want, because it would have been there had this come a couple weeks earlier. And where did I put this? I rearranged this book so it's all a little... Hmm. Should be under rare gear. Oh, and some of the uh, the Phoenix gear has gotten a lot better. And the Speaker Cult Knife is a 3 speed, 6 plus to hit, 4 strength, which is good for a knife. Uh, it's a weapon melee steel, it's a dagger, and it's fist and tooth. It says up in the top, dagger. You can, instead of trying to increase fist and tooth by punching them, you can use this dagger and increase your fist and tooth. Um, it's deadly and sharp. Uh, deadly. I think deadly is the uh, keyword for luck. Plus one luck. And it's sharp. And while insane and not wearing armor or accessories, gain plus two evasion, plus two strength. But that might be... Yeah. And what was the cost again? Uh, one population, three resources, and an iron. Yeah, I don't have the uh, spreadsheet up, but yeah. So we could get rid of one of those flower flower faced people who can't go out except against the flower knight. Yeah. But Yeah. 
Yeah. But the yeah, deadly and sharp is nice. Three speed, six plus to hit, four strength. And if it goes on red, who's trying to get fist and tooth? I'm not a hundred percent percent sure what accessories are. So we could always shift a few things around and maybe lose the Monster Grease or the Dried Acanthus and get that on red. That way they do two attacks, one with the sword, one with the knife. Yeah, well they don't, they get, they just don't get that extra two, plus two strength, plus two evasion. They still get deadly and sharp. Yeah. Fist and tooth. Because I think... I believe so. Because it counts as a dagger and a fist and tooth. Yeah. Well, he does have the sword master already. Okay, sorry, just making sure sound was working. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like the the speaker cult knife. Especially if we can get that on the red character because they have blood paint and they're going for fist and tooth right now. So if we get that lined up then uh, yeah two attacks with the sword and three attacks with the dagger immediately after and their strength was pretty high um they do have weapon or sword mastery plus one accuracy plus one strength and plus one speed when attacking with a sword And when attacking with a sword, after drawing hit locations, make a wound attempt and select the hit location to resolve with that attack. I don't know where I put the fist and tooth. Um, specialization. Let's see here, he should be back in just a second. 
Maybe I'll check. Make sure he's not trying to message me. Okay. I guess it's good to go over everybody's specializations and all that again to refresh things. So the bow, they can reroll any missed attacks once. The Lion Beast Guitars, he's almost at mastery with these. Um, nice, with a guitar when you're gaining evasion tokens when you get a perfect hit. And if you're using both, that's four chances to get a perfect hit every attack. That's nice. Um, what does Clubmaster do again for specialization? When attacking with a club on a perfect hit, double your wound attempt total on the first selected hit location. On a perfect hit, okay. Again, sorry for the delay. We've got some issues going on with the new... We're using a new video system that we can actually do multiple cameras. Oh, is that one paused? Oh. I may have to check something. It looks like my camera froze, the top one. We're just really delayed. Oh, it's working. Wonder if he's having troubles getting back in. Oh, hopefully we can get started soon. Okay, he was in, but he couldn't hear me or see me, or I couldn't hear or see him. Oh, he just popped out of it. We may have to go back to Discord. Um, I'm just gonna pause it for a second here.
Okay. Let's get this party started. Okay, so what do you think for the speaker cult knife? Yay or nay? Uh, I'd say let's go for it. It seems pretty awesome if used right. Yeah, yeah I'll switch the... Uh... And I mean, hadn't he started learning the specialty of fist and tooth after he mastered sword anyway? Yes. Or what was he... So we'll just have him learn all of fist and tooth and use it as a fist and tooth weapon, and then if he masters fist and tooth, move him on to dagger. Yep. Of course, by that point, he'll probably be at retirement age, but... Then we can give it to somebody else, and they can start doing dagger. <laughs> that is very true.